What up, what up, what up, what up? My name is Kevin D. House Kells, and I'm a certified photographer, press person, coming to you with another video. Um, I'm here today to talk about these people that's going around calling themselves First Amendment auditors and or doing a First Amendment audit of government buildings, public buildings, uh, whatever that may be, post office, public, uh, post office, uh, uh, police stations, county buildings, different things like that. Now, in certain situations, a person that's officially uh, part of the press or independent photographer, videographer, that's press related, <coughs> can videotape. Um, normally, we go in, introduce ourselves, uh, let them know why we're there. Uh, in some cases, I could, uh, what I found out, uh, if I'm registered with a news station as a videographer, a photographer, or whatever, they'll hire me to go out and shoot this stock video. Hey, can you go out to the forum and uh, just shoot video of the crowd coming into the forum? Uh, do the do that reason reasonable distance or whatever case may be. Now I might contact the forum and say, hey, I'm here on behalf of so-and-so media. Uh, I'm a press person and I'm just shooting stock footage. Now they may grant me access to walk around or just stand on the sidewalk and shoot from a distance. And so I'll pick a certain point, certain place to film. And uh, just got the video of the crowd going into the forum, parking in the parking lot. Uh, that can be anywhere from five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, two hours worth of video. Then I, uh, you know, on my way. Now, if in that time that I'm there, someone calls the police because they say I'm filming and the police come out, once again, introduce myself to them, show my identification, my press pass, and let them know what I'm doing. Now, if in the event uh, that that officer or those officers tell me to leave, okay, sir, thank you. Have a good evening. Should be the end of it all. If those officers tell me I'm not trying to raise a fuss, I'm not trying to get arrested, I'm not trying to do any of that. If they tell me to leave, I'm out. Now, if one of them asked me, man, is it that easy? I just let them know, hey, man, I'm not trying to get arrested. You told me to leave. Hey, I'm here on the sidewalk. I got my footage. I'm leaving. I'm not trying to go to jail. I'm not trying to get caught up with a trespass or anything. That, you know, even though I told you I've been here, I let the forum know. But hey, I'm, I'm out. Um, like I said, that should be the end of it. Now, a lot of these guys that do the First Amendment or claim to do that, be doing a First Amendment audit. First of all, I know what the First Amendment is. I know what an audit is. I know what an auditor is. I know what a citizen journalist is. I know what filming is. I know all of this stuff. And yes, as a citizen journalist or a person that's filming or getting footage for a YouTube channel, yes, I mean, we have a reasonable uh, space to film. You know, like I just finally saw one of these guys filming a credit union, but he was on the sidewalk. Uh, I think the video, I forgot how long the video was, but he was filming on the sidewalk. So somebody made a couple made comments, whatever. Young lady made a comment, but left. So I guess somebody inside, uh, or either that young lady that I guess got into it with him, called the police. So eventually two units came. One of the officers spoke, one did. Uh, they went inside, stayed inside for a few minutes, for a little while. Then finally came out, and uh, they're brief in action. Hey, as long as you know that you're on the sidewalk, you're not interfering with the traffic. Uh, one minute or two, three minute conversation. That was it. Guy went back to filming his video. But he's also, too, one of those auditors. I'm not going to name his name. I'm not trying to get it caught up in a battle of this, a battle of that, the back and forth situation. But a lot of these guys, I think they're baiting 
the police officers. I think they're trying to provoke them into uh, doing something or saying something wrong so they can try to file a lawsuit, you know, against them for violating their First Amendment rights. Um, um, I think that's stupidity dumb because I think now, I haven't been to a lot of places doing that, filming, but uh, I know a lot of places don't want you to film. You know, they have signs posted, no trespassing, no filming, no taking pictures. Now, what could be the reasoning for me filming a police parking lot with police cars and employees' cars there? Once again, I could be taking stock footage. Now, if I'm going to do that, in order for me to save the hassle, then I could go inside the police station, introduce myself, let them know why I'm there. Now, they may have me talk to somebody, a, a superior officer, a lieutenant or a captain or a press person that's there or a PR person that might be there at the station. And if I'm getting need to get stock footage of where the police cars park, and hey, as long as I don't take picture, video of the license plate, or whatever, whatever. And I never let them know, hey, if they use this, the footage, they'll blur people's faces out. I might be given a chance to video. But it's all about being fair. I mean, yeah, I may not like what the police do. I may have suspicion of illegal stuff going on in certain places or certain county facilities or whatever. But it doesn't give me the right to be an asshole either with the police and provoke them into doing something to me. Because at the end of the day, they're wearing body camera for video. So if I put mine out there and I'm talking trash about the police and trying to follow the lawsuit, next thing you know, they can put theirs and just, just disparage me, you know, and make me look bad. So for me, it's better to be fair, better to be a person that's on the right side of the law, or the right side of being a media person. Right side of a person taking video. So, you know, uh, like I said, I'm not here to trash anybody. I'm not here to trash the police. I'm not here to disparage anybody. I'm not trying to talk negative about somebody. But like I said, a lot of these guys, and y'all see some of the videos probably. Y'all see how these guys act. And y'all see how the police act. Sometimes the police are tyrants. As soon as they walk up, the guy don't ever have a chance to even get information out of his mouth. But, you know. It's, it's the world we live in. It's the time and the world we live in. And uh, it's heartbreaking that uh, uh, being a person that taking video, doing these YouTube videos or media video or whatever, is we get this, we get, it's, it's, it's a hard thing. It's, it's hard for me to find a word sometimes to even describe it. But, you know, it's not fair to people that's legitimately out here trying to be it an independent journalist or a citizen journalist and do the right thing, you know. But, hey, it is what it is. I hope y'all like this video. Hope y'all subscribe to my channel. Leave your comments down below. And let me know what you think. Thank you for watching.